In today's Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine and texture packs for Minecraft Pojav Launcher on any Android phone or device, like this one. So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. In today's Minecraft video, I bring you another tutorial. In today's video, you guys have been requesting in the comments section how to install Optifine and how to install texture packs. Now if you guys are new to these videos and you don't know all about Pojav Launcher, I'll leave a link down below to the original video on how to install it. But I will explain the very basics in today's video. So we're we'll playing Minecraft Java. We're on an Android tablet. This is very unusual, but people seem to be enjoying this. Now, if we go to options and we go to resource packs, we don't have any texture packs available right now. I want to show you from the start on how to install Optifine and then how to install texture packs. So if you don't have Pojab Launcher installed already, just go to the Google Play Store and on there you just want to type in Pojab Launcher. Now the one that you are going to install is this one. Make sure it looks like this. Of course, I already do have it installed. You could also follow their GitHub page as well, but this is just the ability to play Minecraft Java on any Android phone or tablet. It's really awesome. I also highly recommend installing a file manager. Anyone will do, but I will show you the one that I'm using throughout today's video. Scrolling down, the one we're using is this one right here, the file manager. It's just really easy and simple to use. Here are my downloads, of course, from left to right, we've got Minecraft Toolbox, Pojab Launcher, File Manager, and Easy File Explorer. Again, the File Manager doesn't matter. So the first thing you need to do is launch Pojab Launcher. So let's do it. Okay, so I already have an account for this and it's saved. But if you're new to this, of course, put your email and username and password in. I already have an account. It's the real echo. It's automatically going to log me in. There are many different versions you can pick from. By default, Pojav Launcher puts you on 1.7.10, but you can go all the way down to 1.0. And in my last video, I showed you how to install Forge and mods. Or you can go to the latest version, which is 1.17.1 or 1.17. For the sake of today's video, we're going to be using 1.16.5. This is one of the latest stable versions of Minecraft, and a lot of texture packs and Optifine are fully supported on this version, but you can use any version you want. Now, remember, if you are using like 1.17 or 1.16, they're going to be a little bit more demanding. So if your device isn't the best, I recommend going to some previous versions. But again, we're using 1.16.5. Before we install Optifine, whatever version you want to use, just launch it. So the reason why we're doing this is so your device registers those files before you even attempt to install Optifine. So all you need to do at this stage is simply close down Pojab Launcher and Minecraft. The next thing you want to do is just go to Google and just type in Optifine. Now Optifine, it should be the top one. This is kind of like a mod that's meant to improve your version. A lot of people like to use this for Zoom, but also for making it more stable on your FPS. So once you're on Optifine.net forward slash home, you're going to go to downloads. Now, of course, this is supporting 1.17.1, 1 1.17, uh, 1.16, there's loads of different versions. We're going to be installing version Minecraft 1.16.5. So what we're going to do is there's two ways to download this. You tap on download or you tap on mirror. Just to make things a little bit easier, we're going to tap on mirror. And this is the download you're looking for. So make sure this doesn't pop up. Just tap on the download. Wait for it to download. Don't worry, it's safe. Make sure it's a .jar file you're installing. And as you can see at the bottom, Optifine has been downloaded. Don't open it. Once you've downloaded Optifine, you then want to go back to the Pojav Launcher. Once you are back on Pojav Launcher, tap on Options. On the top one where it says Launch a Mod or Installer, tap on that. Then you want to scroll down to your Downloads. And as you can see, we have Optifine version. You want to tap on this. It's going to do this. Don't be worried. On the top right, hit the X. And then you want to tap on Install. And what you want to do then is simply wait for it to install. If you've done this successfully, it will say Optifine is successfully installed. Click on OK and you're just going to have to restart Pojav Launcher. If you've done this successfully, where you tap on the versions, it should be at the bottom. And as you can see, we now have 1.16.5 Optifine. You just got to launch it. 
I'd also like to mention if you do get a black screen, it takes forever to load. Just be patient. It does take a little bit of time sometimes. I did see people commenting that on my previous videos. You just got to be patient. To make sure you've done this correctly, on the bottom left, it should say Minecraft 1.16.5 and in brackets modded. And just to clarify, if we go to options now and we've got a video settings, there is a lot more settings available. You can customize so many things inside of here, like dynamic lights. That's where when you're holding a torch, it's always light. You can install shaders if you really wanted to. I haven't messed around with that yet, but I could bring you a tutorial. You can change like quality down to clouds and so many customizations. And the reason why people should use this on Pojab Launcher is because this game obviously was built for a PC and not for an Android tablet. So you can mess around with any of these settings if you go into animations, you can see that you're able to change so many things like water animation, fire animation, redstone, flame, void, rain. You can change all of these. Having these off will make things so much easier on your device. Particles decrease, minimal, all decrease. We're going to have them as minimal, for example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn a bunch of these off. In fact, I'll leave them on and then we'll turn them off and see what it's like in game. Alrighty, so we managed to launch Minecraft in a brand new world with Optifine. It's actually not too laggy straight away. But again, you're able to customize your settings to make it a lot easier for yourself. And, and that's what I want to do. But you can see when we're loading new chunks, it's a little bit laggy. But what we're going to do is we are going to go back, options, we're going to go to video settings, we're going to go to animations, and I'm just going to turn a bunch of these off and just see if it makes things any easier for me. Go done. Done done back to game and honestly the the difference in smoothness is absolutely insane and that's just from changing the animations so you can see the water's actually not moving the way it was previously so optifying is something i highly recommend installing first if you are using pojab launcher and you actually want to play a stable version of this game 1.16.5 has been incredibly easy for me i'm loading chunks with no problem at all so yeah, make sure you get this installed and make sure you tweak your settings to your device. Right, the next thing I need to show you is how to install any custom texture pack. Head back over to Google. Now, we're just going to type in Minecraft 1.16.5 texture pack. There is various websites that you can use. The one at the top is the resourcepack.net, but there is tons of different websites down to curse. You can use Planet Minecraft. 9minecraft.net, texture-packs.com. There are so many various websites you're able to use. And again, if you're using like a 1.17 version, then just search 1.17 texture packs. We're going to go with the top one here. And then I'm going to install a pack that I showed you at the start of the video. And that was a really, really simple one, which is paper cutout. It's just this one. So we're just going to tap on this. And we're just going to scroll down. Because usually these downloads are at the bottom. Of course, it gives you a preview of what they can look like. We are going to go down to the downloads links and it says here 1.17 is supported, but we're going to tap on the second one, which is 1.16.x-1.14.x. Uh, and that's this one. We are just going to tap on it. It's going to take you to this download page. You're just going to wait. We'll tap on download. It's going to install. Lastly, you want to press save file at the bottom. It's going to tell you downloaded it open. You don't want to open it. The next part, once you have downloaded it, tap on File Manager. Once you're inside of here, go to your Downloads page. At the bottom, it should say Paper Cutout underscore JE. You want to hold this into the pops up saying Copy, Move, Rename, etc. We are going to tap on Move. On the top left, we have three lines. Tap on it and go to Home. The next part, we're going to go to Main Storage. We're going to scroll down until we see Games. Now, if you don't see Pojab Launcher, on the top right, there is three dots. Tap on those three dots, tap on view, and at the bottom, make sure it says show hidden files. If it doesn't, you might not see what you need, which is the Pojab Launcher files. We're not tapping on the top one, we're tapping on Pojab Launcher. We're then going to the top one, which is dot Minecraft. We're then going to scroll down until we see resource packs, and then we're going to paste this inside of here. Now let's open Pojab Launcher. Once you've opened Pojab Launcher, tap on the version that your texture pack is supported. 
Again, we're using Optifine, so we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're just going to play this. As I mentioned earlier on, if you do get a black screen while loading your game, just be patient. It will eventually load, I promise you. The next thing you want to do is just make sure you have the right versions installed. Go to Options, go to Resource Pack, and as you can see, the pack that we just installed is right there. Paper Cutout. You just want to make sure you move it to the right-hand side and click Done. And this is exactly what I showed you at the start of the video. I absolutely love it. The custom Minecraft sign, the custom background, the custom button UI. We've got options. It's fully custom inside of there. Single player, that's also changed. Multiplayer, it's all changed. And it looks really, really cool. Next thing is to just go to game and see what it looks like in game. We're back at the same location I showed you before. Even the inventory UI has changed as well. And I think it looks really, really, really awesome. Uh, let's go inside of here. Let's grab ourselves some some diamond things. And again, the option of me changing the Optifine stuff just makes this game so much smoother, man. It just makes things so much better. And as you know, on the top left, we have the third person view. So I'm able to change that. So if we just go to third person, you can actually see it. And yeah, it, it works so much better. Honestly, the Pojab launcher with Optifine and custom texture packs feels so much more stable than Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. And what are these? Are these are they, are they berries? Yeah, we got ourselves some sweet berries. I like how the hot bar looks. Oh wait, we got animals too. Yo, what a little piggy. Let's get us let's let's get a couple of mobs. I need to see how they look like. But paper cut out has always been one of my favorite dude. I wanna just yo, pig. I wanna see your face, bro. Come, come to me. There you go. Look how cute you're looking. Let's get a couple of mobs. Not a fan of how the spawn eggs look, but we can grab a couple of things here. Uh they're already husks. What's this one? Is that horses? We've got, what's that one? Bees, bats, cave spiders, cod, creeper. Okay, let's see how the creepers look like in this. Let's go back. Let's go with, what's this one? That's meant to be a husk. We have a horsey. We have bees. Oh, they look so cool and just so simple. We have bats, cave spiders. We have cod. I'm sorry, you don't have any water. And we even have the crappers. And they're looking pretty creepy as well. But yeah, that's how to install uh, texture packs in Optifine. Let's just try one more pack. So this time, I want to install one of the most popular texture packs of all time in Minecraft. And, and that's Faithful. So again, there's various different websites where you can download this from. I'm using a different website this time. And as you can see at the top, it says 1.16.x. And we're looking right here in the download section and 1.15. So we're going to download the 64 by 64 version. I don't know how this is going to run on Pojab Launcher, but we're just going to tap on download. This time it's a media fire. It has instantly installed. Let's go to the file manager. Once you're on file manager, go to your downloads. It should be at the bottom. It's faithful. This one, you want to hold it and then you want to go to move. And then you want to tap the three lines and go to home. Main storage. Scroll down until you find games. Pojab Launcher. Then you want to tap on Minecraft, which is the top one, resource packs, and you want to paste it. And it should be good to go. So let's launch the game. So we still have the paper cutout texture installed. We're going to go back to options and resource pack. First thing that we need to do is move the paper version to the left and faithful to the right and click done. And voila, it worked. As you can see, this is faithful. You can tell the button UI has changed. We're just going to go to the same game that we were just in. I mean, this doesn't quite look like Faithful to me, but it's meant to be the 64 by 64 version. So again, this is where you're going to have a lot of trial and error, uh, where you're going to have to download a bunch of packs and just do testing. Uh, we do have a couple of mobs here, but they, it doesn't quite look like Faithful. I mean, the spawn eggs do not look like what I was expecting. But again, like I said, a lot of trial and error. It's completely up to you and what pack you want to install. I like the simplicity packs rather than the crazy packs. Uh, but yeah, this is also working really, 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 really well. Now, what I want to try and do here is just increase my render distance and see how the lag is with Optifine. So, I've changed it from like three chunks to like 14. And it's so much smoother still. Like, it's still, it's not perfect. Obviously, the lower you have your render distance, the better it's going to be because of how much chunks are going to be loading. But honestly, I'm super impressed the difference that Optifine makes for this compared to like PCs and stuff. So... Yeah, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you have any more tutorial suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. And yeah, have a great day. Catch you next time. Goodbye.